Hi, my name is Marie. I am a nurse practitioner student at Arkansas State University for the Acute Care Nurse Practitioner Program. I am going to do my 360 room scan. Okay, there's my room. Here's my equipment that I'm gonna be using for my testing today. I do not have a cue card. Okay. First thing we're going to do, we're going to start out with the cranial nerves. Cranial nerve one is olfactory or the sense of smell. What I'd like you to do is close your eyes, plug one side of your nose. I'm going to give you a smell. Peanut butter. Perfect. Other side. Cinnamon. Perfect. All right. Cranial nerve one is intact. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is cranial nerve two. It is the optic. I'm going to have you read the lowest line that you can read. L T F. P-H. Let me cover your other eye. L-T-F-P-H. All right, both of them. Oh, L-T-F-P-H. All right, and that is 2020 Vision O-D-O-S-O-U. All right, cranial nerve number three, four, and six are your oculomotor, trochlear, and abducens. That is your extraocular eye movements. I'm going to get you to follow this white dot. I'm going to make an H. Just follow with your eyes. Keep your head straight. All right, extraocular movements are intact with convergence, no nystagmus or ptosis. Next, I am going to do number five, which is the cranial number number five, which is trigeminal. So I'm going to palpate the temporal and the master. I'm having a clinch. All right, the strength is symmetrical and intact. The next one I am going to do is number seven, which is your facial. So for this one, I want you to close your eyes, open them up, raise your eyebrows. <laughs> smile um, puff out your cheek with some air and then I want you to close your eyes real tight and don't let me open them up all right that is number seven it is intact number eight is your vestibular cochlear so what I'm gonna get you to do is I'm gonna get you to kick your legs to that side I'm gonna stand behind you I'm gonna whisper a word and you tell me cover one ear tell me what I say Monkey. Other ear. Hockey. Hockey. All right. Cranial nerve is intact. The next one I am going to do is your glossal varyngeal, and which is nine, and ten is your vagus. And so I am going to take the tongue compressor. I'm going to look in your mouth. And then I just want you to say ah. Ah. All right. Soft palate and the pharynx moves. The uvula is midline. That cranial nerve is intact. The next one I'm going to do is the, I'm going to do a gag reflex. <coughs> Oop, gag reflex is intact. Um, okay, and then I would like you, I'm going to do number 11, which is your shoulder shrug. So shrug your shoulders up. All right, movement is symmetrical and intact. And then number 12 is your hypoglossal. So I want you to take your tongue, uh, stick it out side to side all right and the cement movements are symmetrical and intact so now i'm going to get you to flip back around i'm going to check out your back so i'm inspecting the muscles in his back Quit. i'm inspecting the muscles in his back um i'm looking for like symmetry any muscle spasms anything like that i'm checking along the spine or i'm actually going to turn just a little bit more this way checking along the spine just for any muscle spasms, I'm going to palpate the muscles. I'm looking for any muscle spasms, any tenderness. I'm not noting any muscle spasms or tenderness. I am going to palpate. All right. The head is positioned symmetrically. His posture is straight. I am going to check the cervical facets. I'm not feeling any muscle spasms, ticks, anything like that. The posture is straight. I'm going to palpate along the spine for any step off. I'm not feeling any abnormal positioning step off, any muscle spasms, anything like that. I am going to, <coughs> um, oh, and I'm also checking for convex, convexivity, concavity, 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 
I'm checking for kyphosis and lordosis, like the curvature of the spine. His is straight. I'm checking from C7 down to the gluteal uh, cleft. I'm going to have you stand up for just a second. Okay, so like this right here. All right, I want you to bend forward a little bit. There's no, like try to keep your posture straight. Bend forward, like there you go. You notice there's no curvature of the spine, no scoliosis. I am gonna check the shoulder symmetry, symmetry with the iliac crest. I'm also gonna palpate the sacroiliac joint for any tenderness, and I have not noted any tenderness or anything like that. Okay, the next thing I am going to do is we're gonna turn you around and I'm gonna start doing some range of motion. You can face me. Okay, we're gonna start with the range of motion and what I'm gonna get you to do is uh, chin to your chest and then all the way back as far as you can go. That is deflection and extension. I want you to rotate, look inside the side. That is rotation. And then I want you to take your ear and try to put it to your shoulder. And that is lateral bending. The next thing I'm gonna do is the same thing with his spine. I want you to try to touch your toes. All right, stand back up, lean back as far as you can. All right, back up. And then I want you to twist side to side. That was flexion, extension, uh, rotation. And now I want you to take your hands and try to touch. And that is his lateral bending. All of the range of motion, cervical and for his spine are intact. Uh, the movements are coordinated and symmetrical. The next thing I am going to do is I'm going to get you to hold your hands out straight. All right, and then bring them all the way up and bring them all the way back down. And then I want you to try to bring them up behind your back and then come back straight. That's flexion and extension. I want you to go out, flip your palms over, up to your head, all the way back down. And then that is abduction. And then I want you to bring them across and there you go that is adduction bilaterally that is symmetrical the movements are coordinated and smooth the next thing i want you to do is take your bend your arms like this and then flip your yep that's the external rotation and then i want you to try to take your hand all the way up and touch on both sides with both arms there you go perfect and that is uh internal rotation it's all intact and symmetrical and coordinated <laughs> now for what i want you to do if we're going to do for your elbows that was your shoulders i'm going to do your elbows so i want you to do out and up that's flexion and extension then i want you to take your arms out like this up yep and then rotate you down that is supination and pronation while you have your hands out straight i want you to point your this is for your wrist point your fingers down and then all the way back up that is flexion and extension the next thing we're going to do is your thumb. Okay, for your thumb, I need you to try to bring your thumb across and then put it back in straight. That is uh, flexion extension. Then I just want you to take your thumb out away from your palm and then back in. That is ab abduction and adduction. And then for opposition, I want you to touch your thumb to each one of your fingers. That is opposition. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is your fingers. We're going to do um, the fingers out straight is the flexion, or I'm sorry, the flexion is the fist, out straight is the extension, spread them apart and bring them back together. That's your abduction and adduction. All the movements are coordinated and symmetrical. The next thing I need you to do is, um, we're going to go ahead and do your muscle strength test on those while I have you here. So what I want you to do is put your arms out straight and I'm gonna push down, don't let me. I'm gonna push up, don't let me, okay. Um, I want you to do your wrist like this, same thing, same thing, don't let me push up. Okay. Yeah, there you go. Hold your arms like this for your elbows. I'm gonna pull to me, don't let me. I'm gonna push to you, push against me, there you go. Um, his muscle <coughs> strength is five out of five uh, in each one of those extremities um the next thing i'm gonna do is i want you to do your finger yeah your thumb and your finger like this i'm gonna hook it don't let me hook it all right and then i want you to do that was opposition was five by five do your grip strength squeeze my fingers 
All right, grip strength strong, five out of five. I want you to spread your fingers out like this, okay? And don't let me push them in. All right, hand strength is five out of five. And then now I would like to, I'm just gonna palpate. I'm palpating all, um, checking his muscle tone for any atrophy. I'm checking the contour, everything is symmetrical. Um, I'm not feeling any like bony provenances or any bogginess, any tenderness in the upper extremities. Now I want you to have a seat. I'm gonna do the same thing for your legs. I'm palpating the hips, palpating down through the knees. I'm palpating down to the ankles. I'm not noticing any <clears throat> tenderness or bogginess in any of the joints. Um, so, for your um, flexion and extension for your knees, I want you to just kick your legs out straight and then back down. Okay, I'm going to do your muscle strength. Try to bring your legs up. All right, try to bring them down against me. Okay, for your hip flexion and extension, push out against my hands and then in against my hands. Good job. And then, um, so I'm going to have to move this down a little bit so we can see. There we go. For the ankles, I want you to step into my, yep, perfect, like you're stepping on gas, pull back up like you're going to the ceiling, perfect. Strength is five out of five in the ankles. And the, all right, I'm gonna press against your shins, there you go. And pulling down, perfect. Strength is five out of five. Um, I want you to do, like take your hands and do this as fast as you can, all right. All right, rapid movement is intact. Now do the same thing. Tap as fast as you can with your feet. No, just your feet, not your legs. Just Wait. your toes. Oh. Just tap, tap, tap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a little uncoordinated on that one. Um, all the movements have been symmetrical. Okay, now we're gonna look at your gait. So I'm gonna need you to stand up. And then, okay, so what I'm gonna want you to do is I want you to just walk normal that way. All right, and when you come back, heel to tuck, straight line. All right. And then I'm gonna have you turn around and walk back on your toes. Normal. And then on your heels. There you go. All right, his gait is normal, coordinated, and balanced. I have not seen any like abnormal positioning. Throughout this exam, I have been observing his face for any like ticks or fasciculations. Hold your hands out. I don't notice any tremors in his hands or anything like that. Um, all of his movements have mostly been coordinated and balanced and symmetrical. Um, now I'm going to test your reflexes. You can have a seat back down. All right, that's perfect. All right, so now I am going to test your bicep. Try to relax. All right, got a muscle contraction. Now I'm gonna, let's see, yeah, there we go. That's good. All right, muscle contraction. Now I'm gonna, that was the tendons. And then now I'm gonna do the brachioradialis, just relax only. All right, I got a muscle contraction. Now I'm gonna do your patellar, so scooch back a little bit so I can get your knees. All right, got a muscle contraction on the patellar tendon. And then for the ankle, we're gonna do just a little flexion and then I'm gonna, all right. We've got bilateral um, muscle contraction on the deep tendon reflexes. Now I'm gonna check to see for your, this is, um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get you to close your eyes and I'm gonna touch you and you tell me if it's soft or sharp, okay? All right. Soft. Sharp. Okay. I'll touch you down here. Sharp. Soft. Sharp. All right. His sensitivities are intact and um, normal. What else? And I think that's it.